In this video, we will introduce you to the user interface of CAM2 2018. Here, you can see the actual user interface, which is split into five areas. The 3D viewer, the command ribbon, the features panel, workspaces, and the information tabs located to the lower left side. On the top left side of the screen is the Quick Access Toolbar. From this menu, you can choose to display icons that will allow you to access options such as units. The File tab contains options that can be used for file management, import, export, options, and additional help features. The Home tab is designed to support the inspection workflow. This contains the most common features needed to complete and report a component inspection. Working from left to right, the order of the features help guide the user through the process. The additional tabs contain all the available commands required for View Devices, Automation, Measure, Extract, Keying, Pick from CAD, Construct Alignments, GD&T, and RPM. Below the Feature panel are the workspace icons. Selecting an icon will open that workspace. The feature information can be viewed by clicking the tab in the bottom left corner. This will automatically open the sliding panel, which can be resized and fixed into position by clicking the pin icon. This is also true for all sliding panels within the user interface. When capturing a screen view, the view panel will appear below the feature panel. When applying a GD&T callout, the GD&T editing panel will also appear below the feature panel. On the top right side of the user interface, there is a flag icon that is used for accessing the Notification Center. This will list any messages that Faro has sent to the user. This could include information of new releases and even links to training videos like this one. Additional panels are hidden by default. These can be activated from the View ribbon by selecting View Closed Panels. The available hidden panels will be shown below the ribbon. Selecting them will make them available within the user interface. 